of my last adventures, which you may or may not see on TV in the near future, um, I improvised a fly fishing rig, right? So I cut myself a small, uh, well, small diameter sapling, but maybe 10, 11 feet long. Used one of the seven inner strands of paracord for the fly line, tied on about two, three feet of tippet or leader, whatever you want to call it, just regular fishing line. And then made myself a fly out of a hook that I brought along. And it worked really, really well. And I thought to myself, that's a brilliant idea. The simplicity of this kind of fly fishing is, um, is, is really intriguing to me. I, I've grown up cane poling it my whole life in fly fishing. And I thought to myself, this, this is a brilliant idea. It, surely it must exist. And it does. The Tinkara Rod Company makes some really, really, really nice uh, fishing rods. The rod itself, it's a telescopic fishing rod right so it's super compact extremely lightweight this thing weighs less than three ounces which is ridiculous less than three ounces for a ten and a half foot fishing rod right on a small stream like this ten and a half feet is a pretty long unwieldy thing but i'll see how i can do it's probably going to be a lot of little roll casts maybe some slingshot kind of cast um but i like that kind of work anyway so this thing is nothing, it weighs absolutely nothing. And if you just ditch the, um, the rod tube itself, you can put this in your pack and it'd be, you, you wouldn't even notice it was there. So in a, in a survival kit, in a bug out bag, and just keeping in your truck, whatever it may be, um, or just going out, have a little fun on the, on the water. This is an awesome little setup. Got the small little rubber cap that keeps everything protected. Pull that cap out and then inside, you'll see it starts to come undone from the very smallest end section, which is really delicate and fine, right there. And it just keeps on going all the way out to 10 and a half feet. This is the Sierra. They make several different models. Some are a little shorter, some are a little longer. On a TV show called Alone the Beast that I was on about a year ago, um, that recently aired, I, uh, we made a bet, with me and the other guy on the show, Rick, we made a bet to see who could guess how much weight we were gonna lose. And whoever was closest gets to whatever piece of kit that they want, a hundred dollar limit. And uh, I was able to guess exactly to the pound how much weight that I lost, 22 pounds exactly in the month that I was out there. And uh, this was my reward. This uh, Mystery Ranch pack is really, really nice. Very durable little guy, but it works perfect for, um, for my fishing kit. And I've just got a small box of flies, assorted flies, and then some hooks if I wanted to use some bait, which you could definitely do on a Tinkara rod, no problem. And then the Tinkara rod company in this kit that they sent me, um, it comes with this small little pouch. And in this small little pouch, it's got basically everything that you need. It's got a line keeper here that, that can be ready ready to go rigged up. I've already got a fly tied on there with the, with the fly line. Um, and some, some tippet material on there. I think I've got maybe three feet of tippet tied on there, ready to go. Um, a spool of 5X tippet and five pound test. When on a stream like this, five pound test is more than more than enough. And when you're presenting really, really small little flies, you want, um, you want that really lightweight tippet. And then it comes in this, with this little tin with a few flies in it. So all you really do to get this thing rigged up is you tie a little stop knot in the end of this line that's attached to the smallest piece, the very end of your of your uh, rod. You take this little loop that's on here, take the fly line itself through it. It makes, your, makes a little slip knot, little slip loop. Put that stop knot in there and then you'll snug it up on top of that green line. And then as it slides and tightens up to that stop knot, it's not gonna come off. And then to, to detach it, it's super simple. You just pull the end of it off of there. It's really, really simple. It stays on really, 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 really well. No other need for any more secure knots than that. The slingshot method might be the ticket around here. You just gotta be really careful with these small flies to not stab yourself in the finger. This is a barbless hook, so it wouldn't be a huge deal, but it wouldn't be pleasant either. Perfect. But if you're into the ultralight 
kind of backpacking type stuff, this would be a great little, little kit to bring along with you. It just weighs absolutely nothing. Another really cool aspect of this fishing rig here, this fishing system, is just its kind of portability. Um, you can leave everything attached, collapse the rod back down, and then once you get towards the end, all you gotta do is take your plug, your little rubber plug that goes on the, uh, goes in the end, Stick it in the end with the line still attached. Like that. Take your hook, hook it into the wood, like so. Run it up through, and then just start wrapping it. Just start wrapping it around, like that. So it's all nice and tidy there. Stick it over the end. And then it kind of friction fits there and it holds the line in place. And so now it's a very compact, ready to go fishing kit that I can just keep in my truck as is, unless you wanted the extra protection to put it in that rod tube. Um, but it can be ready to go just like this. And it protects everything because of that rubber cap. Pretty cool little system. I like it actually a lot, just because of its simplicity. Haven't caught any fish yet. Conditions aren't that great. We had a lot of rain yesterday, so water's up a little bit, but I'm making excuses. My papa would say I'm not holding my mouth right. I'm not really sure what that ever had to do with fishing, but that's what he told me when I wasn't catching anything. You're not holding your mouth right. Wasn't able to land any fish for lots of different reasons. Lots of excuses that I'm sure I could come up with. Old elbow injury, just wasn't able to get the line out there. Sun was in my eyes. Wrong time in the lunar cycle. The signs weren't right. I just don't think there's any fish in that river. So I know there's fish in this little pond because I've caught them before. Um, and I just wanted to give, uh, to have an opportunity to show this little rod in action. Oh, there's a little guy, a <laughs> tiny little fish. Look at this little tiny guy. It's even smaller than the last one. <laughs> Pulled that little guy all the way out of the water. None of the bigger ones are wanting to hit, just these tiny little ones. Not that these wouldn't be edible, but it would take a whole bunch of them to result in any kind of meal. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I wasn't able to land any whoppers, but maybe a half a dozen or so little guys. Um, but the Sierra rod from the Takara Rod Company has, has won me over. It's simplicity. It's super, super lightweight. Has, uh, has got my stamp of approval. And I think it would fit well in your bug out bag survival kit or just uh, behind the seat of the car um thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one make sure you hit that thumbs up